I'm Joya Das for Small Cap Nation, broadcasting from the Monaco Growth Forums, which is in its fourth edition, and we are right here in the heart of Monaco with Mr. Pierre Vaninus, who is, among a few things, founder and CEO of the Brackner Investment Group based in Dubai. Welcome. Thank you very much, Joya. It's a, pl it's a pleasure to meet you tonight. I got to listen to your presentation earlier, but just relay to our audience what it is that your fund does. All right. So Brackner is specializing in the financing of small and mid-cap enterprises, uh, mostly listed companies, because we like to have a view on the liquidity and disclosure of the companies. Mm -hmm. uh, our special, the specialty of our, the mandate of our fund, first of all, which is a single family office mm -hmm. so far, uh, incorporated uh, in Dubai, where we have about 100 million under management. So mm -hmm. coming back to the mandate, uh, we, like to, we like to work with small and medium capitalization because those are the ones which bears the highest upside uh, and often are the ones going to bring growth to the economy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all know that we are in a growth-based economy, and so you need to find those uh, growth drivers. And we do think that those are SMEs, and that's why as well we focus particularly on high growth sectors such as medtech, clean tech, uh, or biotechs uh, in general. But we do like to say that we are sector agnostic and we'll look at any good idea. Uh, the particularity of our mandate uh, is that uh, we focus on bringing uh, a proactive financing to our portfolio companies. Mm -hmm. That means that we give them a firm commitment, mm -hmm. but they have the option to draw capital whenever they want. So in fact, they control dilution while having always someone to count on to finance uh, their needs. Uh, so I'm going to step back a second, though, because I want to talk about those three buckets that you just mentioned. Sure. So in the in the biotech or medtech world, what does that mean? What's a typical investment in a, in a product? Well, a typical investment would be, for example, a biotech will have a choice, uh, let's say, to go in phase two, for phase two, for partnership uh, with Big Pharma, which uh, will give them valuation based on phase two and all the certainty that that bears. Uh, mm -hmm. Or they could wait uh, till phase three or even the end of phase three while taking on some dilutions. So, so basically, an investor that will cover for them uh, and will let their value appreciate uh, before they strike a, a multi-hundred uh, million dollar uh, deal. So this is uh, the advantage that we bring to these companies. For example, they could, if they need, a, let's say, 100, 100 million dollar, we're able to provide them with, uh, with this amount uh, of money to be able to fund themselves. We will ideally cut it in chunk, uh, and which we call trenches, mm -hmm. and that we, that we deliver on a known basis. That's a very the, different... The investor really has to be in it for the long haul. This is a long-term play because this is always long you are functioning play. independent of market conditions. Yes, absolutely. We like to have listed companies, so we have full disclosure, perfect disclosure, but this is always a long-term play. Our contracts are always over three years uh, with most companies because we like to follow them on long term. When you invest uh, as an equity investor, well, you necessarily got to look at the long term. And especially if you want uh, to sustain companies with a high growth potential, it doesn't come uh, in one day. You know what they say, Rome wasn't built in, built one, in day. one day. So that's exactly the feeling, uh, the feeling here that, we're, that we have. And to be honest, this is more than just the financing that we do with these companies. This is a really um, a partnership. Coaching, you said. I think yes, I heard exactly. you say. This morning, uh, I thought about coaching because this is what we do. Whenever a company, for example, well, we cannot be insider because we have equity into listed uh, into listed companies. But whenever they have an issue, so, let's say, of financing, we always find them um, a solutions uh, whenever we can. And as well, because we are based in the Middle East, this is a very difficult max market to access. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, we provide them with necessary connections uh, in the Middle East to develop themselves. Uh, I could give you the example, for example, of Intrasense, one of our earliest portfolio companies, a uh, medical, uh, medical software company uh, in medical imagery. And uh, we have uh, uh, acted, for example, as a notarized representative for them in Saudi Arabia, so they could market their product and we have presented them to uh, several strategic buyers with whom they are negotiating right now. Mm -hmm. I cannot know f anything further than this, right. but this is all we try to help our portfolio companies to grow in any way we possibly can. Okay, what would be a final thought that you'd like to convey to the investing audience that may be considering well, basically, working with you? Basically, uh, right now, Bracknell was funded in with one thing in mind, is that money has never been cheaper than today, right? Mm -hmm. But yet, none, none of the small businesses can raise the money they need for their growth from banks. So, 
I would like to say that banks are failing the small and medium well, enterprises. Well, regulation has cracked down. Uh, yes, exactly. But us as a fund uh, where we're incorporated, we can act and change that uh, and allow to have a funding on which I can really count uh, and which is not uh, giving you an umbrella when it's, when it's sunny and taking it back when it starts raining. Right. Not a fair weather friend. Exactly. Well, Pierre Van Anus, thank you very much. Pierre Van Anus is founder and CEO of the Brackner Investment Group, which is based in Dubai. I'm Joy Doss for Small Cap Nation, and we are broadcasting from the Monaco Growth Forums right here in Monaco. For more interesting stories, both from this forum and other conferences, you can go to smallcapnation.com.